we have available is the uh, honeymoon suite. Oh! I want you on the bed now. <laughs> hey, Charlie. What's up, Chuck? No, it won't be held down. That's right, gang. After a long hiatus, movie watching has returned. Pop quiz, hot shots. <coughs> what do you miss most about the 90s? Bulky, cumbersome television sets? Ill-fitting, atrocious formal wear? Or how about... Those old casual sexual assaults we all used to imbibe in. Yikes, I haven't seen anybody that sexually aggressive in the 90s since Bill Clinton. That was a 90s slam! Ow! Personally, the things I miss the most are Beetleborg, Princess Diana, and of course, passable Adam Sandler starred comedies. So where else would we find his most underrated hit? Well, I can't really say if it was a hit or not. It was on, like, the USA channel a lot when they played movies. The astute viewers among us will have already deciphered what that film is. Please enjoy the Exciting. trailer. I'll suck your dick, Mr. Colton. Jesus, I'm sorry. I mean, basically, you're the only guy I've ever trusted in my entire life. I'm really missing you. I would have done anything for you. I would have taken a bullet for you, Keats. I'm just sitting here thinking about you. Black lacy thing I bought you. You'll always be my bodyguard, you know that. I want you on the bed now. We need a room. Uh, you guys aren't, uh, you know. He says he's not gay, but, uh, let's see what a few drinks and a uh, back massage will do to him. I'll suck your dick, Mr. Rockin' Archie you know that. I saved our fucking life! Sometimes I wish that bullet really did kill you. You drop the soap. Please take that out of my ass. Archie Moses is a cash rich car thief. You can get drinks for everybody, okay? With some, let's say, unorthodox relationships with animals. I had about a half a beer, but the dog had a lot. Good doggy. <laughs> now beg for your life. It's all worked out. Hey man, I'm glad we worked this shit out, man. Let me buy you a drink. You buy me, I'll right buy you. And he's in over his head, stuck in the red with Mr. Colton, James Kahn. A drug dealing car dealer, or car dealing drug dealer, but also Balthazar Keats, Damon Wayans an undercover police officer impersonating a mentally handicapped car thief. Yo, I'm just a retarded friend. I'm from, uh, from Arkansas somewhere, and uh, he wants to go to Disneyland. More on that tonight at 8.13.
For over a year, Keats... It's Carter. ...or his actual name, Carter... Jack Carter. ...has been working with Moses, Adam Sandler... ...to steal cars and infiltrate Colton's drug car empire in order to cage him in Paradiso. So within 20 minutes, Archie and Keats steal a Datsun, make plans to go to Disneyland, abruptly cancel them, kiss a bull terrier, threaten the life of said bull terrier, and pull this dog's head right off his fucking body, that's a promise, you Yo, I'm just and get in a standoff. When Moses learns of Carter's betrayal of the dove, he cuts him down like a pheasant. Bush tit. After escaping the cops, and some forced fellatio. If he's a cop, I'll suck your dick. I, I believe I'm somewhat close to that particular quote. I mean, I, as you last me, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, don't do this, please. You don't need to do this. Moses flees to the desert, where he is immediately apprehended without incident. Would you mind stepping out of this vehicle and walking a straight line? Oh, yeah. I'll suck your dick, mister. He is taken to jail, where he is immediately sexually assaulted, without incident. Look, man, don't do what I think you want to do, because I'm telling you, neither one of us is going to like it. Wait! Shortly thereafter, Keats... It's Carter. Sorry, is reconstituted with alien technology and bull terrier parts. With the assistance of an incredibly faithful and devoted nurse, Tracy Mills. He has a chance to fight his lifelong urges. What you on the bed now? After months of inhumane violence and sexual depravity at the hands of the Arizona penal system, Archie Moses decides to play ball. Oh! But he tells on some bad boys, and bad boys too, ready to make him die hard with a vengeance. Well, that went pretty well. So he has only one course of action. Hijack a plane, kidnap Carter. Jack Carter. Fucking lout. Crash the plane. Oh, shit! After some rather topical humor. Okay. Well, we're probably gonna crash head first, right? Okay, I'll be in the back sitting on the black box. My dick hurt! Don't yell! The vibration makes it move. We have to whisper. Whisper. Ah, oh, shit! That ain't working either! <laughs> then the two decide to share a romantic weekend in a scenic B&B's honeymoon suite. Let me guess, you dropped the soap. Most of the music is a mishmash of pop songs circa 1995. Well, actually, you can't really call them pop songs. Um, the pop part in pop songs means popular. None of these have ever, nor will ever, be popular. Well, except the newly composed score by Elmer Bernstein. No, God, no, no, no. That's the truth. I just couldn't believe how many Tide Pods you could pop and still blow an audience away. It was at that point I knew I had a problem with Inuit midget prostitutes. He created a legacy of greatness off the back of one song, Bulletproof Theme. But one day, the raging tide propelled him back ashore. Dish soap and drugs proved enough to derail this silver train to Gold City. No good. Bang. Also, Adam Sandler performs a heartwarming vocal rendition of Whitney Houston's
I want to dance with somebody. Then Damon Wayans follows suit. I'm sorry about the turds in there. It was an accident. Whoops. And I will always love you. They won't let me in the big people library downtown. There was some unpleasantness. I can never go back. It was my aim to learn, through observation, everything there is to know about 1996's Bulletproof. Save for doing some actual research, that is. I've watched this movie dozens, if not billions of times, over the last three days. And this scene has been the cause of more embarrassing public shame than I care to recite. Now the other bad stuff. On deck first, Adam Sandler. Because I know you're going to sleep soon enough. And then guess what? I'm going to piss all over you. Sometimes when I eat, I chew loud. Nom, 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 nom. It's my piss on me right now. You can deal with it when it's your own piss. Hey. Oh, oh, you my best my but you're going to have my piss on you, and that, that's gross. I hate dogs! Lest we forget, Damon Wayans. Or rather, Damon Wayans's. Poor accent choice for the first 20 minutes of the film. Yo, you better back up off me, son. What's your problem? Well, the street accent you use in this movie is, to say the least, a little... Exciting! Yo, man, there's something I ain't understand. Please. Allow me to edify you, Damon. Yo, man, what kind of nasty-ass meat is that you eating? Like some shit out of Jeffrey Dahmer's refrigerator. So he just licked his balls and now he's trying to get that nasty taste out of his mouth. Oh, the truth is there ain't much to say. I mean, you know, I did some time up north for breaking and entering, a little armed robbery, petty shit like that. So what are you in the black in a hat doing following me around anyway? True that. 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 He also perpetrates the ultimate sin, observe, and judge him viciously. You want a hit? No, Bulletproof is not a great pseudo-buddy cop comedy. It's not even a good one. It is a perfectly adequate shitty one, though. And considering the rest of his library, I'll take adequate Adam Sandler any time. Five out of ten. With that in mind, sit back and enjoy the love and camaraderie between Mr. Sandler and Mr. Wayans. We both know... I'm not what you need. What do you know? And I <laughs> will you drive like that kid Corky from Life Goes On. I'm your God right now. Enjoy your night, and thank you for staying here. Oh, well, she's not eating sandwiches. She's on a diet right now. Ah!